Boys, you aren't ready for this vlog. You aren't ready for it. What's good, y'all, boys, and welcome back to the channel. This long-awaited Canada vlog. I've had this schedule off for like three months now. Super hyped, super excited. Like I always say, Chris is on his way to pick me up right now. We are all packed and ready to go. The man hut is actually looking a little bit bare, looking a little bit empty, because half my stuff is in that bag, including all of my production equipment. Bro, check this out, though. We got the dunk cleats out. Oh, man, these are so beautiful. So beautiful. I can't wait to rock those next season. But yes, we're going to Canada to watch Toronto Argonauts and Toronto Blue Jays play. Super excited. Super hyped. It's a BTM vlog coming at you. Stay tuned. What was that one Will Smith movie? Or uh, Will Ferrell movie? Welcome to the best Italian. We can wait till tomorrow for you if you want. So good. All right, guys, we are staying an hour away from our hometown to cut some time off of our trip. Really excited. Really pumped. Super hyped, as I always say. Um, but yeah, we are here. Staying in the woods, obviously. We're staying in the woods. An hour from hometown to cut like an hour off our trip because so we're driving through detroit then gonna enter into canada waiting for this trip for a long time so we're gonna get inside we're going to eat dinner we're gonna head to bed because we have four in the morning to grind out some hours on this drive stay tuned All right, guys, we we're looking rough, getting ready for bed here. We are staying our first night here at Chris's grandma's. Shout out to Chris's grandma for letting us stay. She, I heard she's a subscriber, so thank you for subscribing. Got Basically, eat. just got done eating four Denny's Grand Slams for dinner. It was so good. She is probably one of the best cooks in the whole world. Yes, Shout out is. to Chris's grandma. But yes, it's about 9.30 p.m. We gotta get up at four. We're getting up at four? Leaving at four. We're leaving at four. So we're getting up before four, leaving at four on our way to Canada. So we're gonna go to bed. Time to snooze. Good night, guys. We'll see y'all in the morning. Boys, it's 4 a.m. We have hit the road. We are officially on our way to Canada. It's a long way to trip. We've been planning it out for like three months now. We are super hyped, super excited. This is my dude dude finally here so so we're going to detroit and then we're gonna cross over in detroit into canada and we're officially going to be colonizers of canada btm colonizes canada that's the title of this video um but yes chris you have any thoughts what are you feeling right now this is your first time in the video today pretty on? excited uh, a little nervous i'm going to be leaving american soil Agree. That's probably what I'm worried about too. But I think getting through Canada is gonna be smooth sailing. I think it's gonna be a great trip. C fingers crossed, no issues. But we're gonna get some poutine, poutine, some bagged milk, bag milk. Gonna jump into Lake Ontario. Lots of things planned for this video. Lots of great things planned on this trip. This is probably the most diverse, most crazy trip we've honestly planned in terms of just like what we're all we're gonna do in like a, what two days basically a weekend so but yeah we also got cfl game tonight which i'm looking forward to the most but yeah big things for this video big things for this trip stay tuned We are officially entering Canada. Guys, we just paid our toll. We are driving through the tunnel underneath the river to get to Canada. 
we're gonna go through because like, you call them custom custom yeah. we're going through customs um but man we are act, we're actually doing this we are we're going btm is going into another country so we are gonna make our way to the tunnel get over the river we'll basically go under the river and go to customs and it'll be in canada chris what are your thoughts i'm nervous i'm driving in a different country like like literally right here there, there, there's the bridge we're literally about to go over into canada i'm nervous i'm pumped as a passenger little passenger princess i'm pumped so <laughs> uh yeah guys i guess i'll try to get some shots see what i can get but oh, wow. scary yeah, stuff the bridge. we are going over the bridge yeah we're going over the bridge oh i thought we were going under the river. oh i thought we were going under but yeah no we're going over boys here we go we are going over died we got winds are on the other side you can see winds are from up here take it in caleb look, look at that look at that there's canada oh we're doing this there's a big cargo ship in the river oh that's a good picture right there there's the united states flag oh man oh buddy look, look how close we are to the line there's the canadian flag oh, we're, we're about to do it we're just gonna do it caution a border is ahead oh th there's canada oh we're in canada we're in canada Welcome to Canada. Welcome. Welcome to Canada. Welcome to Canada where they lock the gate. Uh, comment if you know what the reference is. Comment. Because that's, that's, that's a little throwback to the last football season. This is where we got to show our identifications. Look at that. Canadian cuisine. Canadian cuisine. We're in Canadian. Wicked looking sky, yeah. <laughs> trying to read French signs in Canada. <laughs> We're gonna try to read the French signs for you. Stay tuned. Cause, uh, reading French signs. Reading French signs. Everyone's passing me. It's 80, it's 80 kilometers per hour here. Are you kidding me? So just, just going 82. Speed like you do but in Not America. speed in Canada, dude. We're in a different country. Okay. Nope, we're, we're just gonna take this one on the chin. Take, that's what she said. Um, so first sign right here, the green one. It's uh, let's read it. I can't read from far away, Lake Shore Road 105. That's just American. I just you mean tell me they speak American and Canadian? That makes no sense. It's zone day construction, zone day construction. <laughs> road, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> road. Okay, I gotta bleep that one out. That's actually how you say it. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> ETA, 9.26 a.m. for Toronto. ETA of the STA of the BTA. Of the BTA. We're going to stop at Walmart, a Canadian Walmart in London. Uh, we'll take some bag milk. We'll bag film milk. for you. Very important. We'll conspire as we dream. We're here at Walmart. Oh, oh man, that sun's bright. Oh my lord, what's that? Too? That's like two L's right there. That is two L's in one go. We don't like that. Two L's, one go. So, Chris, start. Chris, what are we doing here at Walmart today? Um, standing on Canadian soil today. Uh, officially, could say we have been to Canada now, but this Walmart, it looks like a giant blue brick. Doesn't it? Is that a Lego? Dude, oh, oh, yeah, oh, it's a blue Lego brick. And then look at the McDonald's far. I've never seen a McDonald's pharmacy before. Hey, I've seen Subway, but I've never seen a McDonald's and pharmacy. Yeah, they just give you a Big Mac and they just give you a pill as they as they serve it up. So, be crazy. All right, guys. Well, let's go get our let's go get our bag milk. What you got there, Chris? Got the bagged milk. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna try this. I'm gonna do a review, a drink review. Before we get out of here. Yeah. Got 
gotta do it for the views. I'm a Canadians fan. I don't like the Leafs, they're rivals. Ugh. Ugh. This jersey, it stinks. But I'm, but I'm doing it for you, Canada. Doing it for you. I'm doing it for our Toronto viewers. <laughs> Right, guys so here in canada the hockey's kind of like the big thing obviously they'll stick right chris absolutely of course it is but I, I as a football youtuber want to see what kind of football game you can get here at walmart so we already found a cfl football might get one honestly because i collect footballs different logos on it might have to get a cfl one looks super cool see a black reebok ball i've never seen a reebok football so that's definitely interesting all right let's head over and see if we can find anything else these are tennis wristbands. Well, I wear wristbands. And if you see like NFL players like Jamar Chase, Justin Jefferson, they wear wristbands on their forearms, help with sweat. So this is for tennis, but football players, check this out. One thing I also noticed is the fact that, uh, did you notice that there was only CFL balls? There's no NCAA or NFL footballs. That is definitely something good to point out. I didn't think about that, but I guess it's not really a thing here. So. Yeah. Here's another shot of it right here. No, a question, people, do people watch college football here? That's a real good question. You watch college. Mm, right? that's, there's no college up here or NFL. This is your time, if you haven't already, to click the subscribe button or go follow us on Instagram at bench underscore two underscore Mike. Please check us out because we'll update you guys live as we're on these trips. And we get tons of trips planned for this fall. So you don't miss out because we're posting lots of stories right now. So just saying, hit the subscribe, hit the follow if you haven't already. Thanks, boys. All right, boys. Right here from Walmart here in London. London, Canada. Canada. London, Canada. London, Ontario, Canada. That's what they London, Ontario. Is that what that is? Like, if you were in like the, the state or the province, the province, province, province of Ontario. Province of Ontario. So London, Ontario, in the country of Canada. Yeah. And we bought bagged milk. Common stereotype about Canada is their citizens drink uh, milk out of bags. So, well, we're gonna try that today. Very fun. It's spoil for sure. How do we open this? Why should open like in the corner? Like, yeah, in the corner. Use your mouth a little bit. There you go. Here we are. Here we are now. Ship to you. Cheerio. Mmm. That's actually pretty good milk, not gonna lie. It tastes like milk. Milk. You like milk, kid? This is some milky milk. This is very underwhelming. All right, here's the official BTM uh, bagged milk review. In Canada, our first review. I finished my milk. Caleb's working on his still. I give it a solid, a solid eight. Eight out of ten. Bagged milk, it's pretty good. Um, it's just, it takes some getting used to. Obviously, some people, like Caleb, take a little longer than others to get the hang of things. So is this two percent or whole? Two percent. That's what the ah, bag said. Ah. But it was pretty good overall. Eight out of ten. What do you think, Caleb? Mm, I I like whole milk more just because I like the fats and everything in it. I'm a skinny guy, so sure. I, I need the fats and everything. Sure. Also, I love calcium. Got to keep those bones strong for football season coming sure. up here. Twenty twenty four season gonna go crazy. But bag milk, gotta give it a six out of ten. Uh, we took our first Canadian level piss. We are now heading to Toronto for real. Got gas, feeling good, feeling great. Um, but yeah, in Toronto, we're just ready to just get paid there. $66 on gas. $66 for gas, guys. That's crazy. That's a crime. And liters. Oh, I, I'm gonna try, how many liters was it, you know? Shot for the vlog. <laughs> Guys, we're here trying some poutine. I got chicken, bacon, ranch. Chris got traditional. We're gonna try it out. We'll let you know. All right, guys. So I got the chicken, bacon, ranch poutine. Got traditional poutine. For me, ten out of ten. This is really, really good. This is really good. Like it's French fries, chicken, bacon, ranch. There's some cheese in there. Love it. Chris. <clears throat> Mine's really good. I got the traditional, if you didn't say it already. Um, it's 
couldn't do with it. Comes with uh, French fries, gravy, and Mon and Quebec cheese curds. Uh, overall, really good. If you ever come to Canada, get poutine. Worth it. Uh, nine out of ten for me. Boys, we are out here. Sunglasses on. We're heading to a Toronto sign to go check out. So, I guess we'll go check it out. They're interacting. I'm a big fan of looking at water, like pretty water stuff. All right, guys. So we're here in front of the Toronto sign. Very right cool. in the dead center of the city. It's actually insane. It's very beautiful out here. There's pigeons, there's seagulls, lots of people interacting with their families. It's very wholesome, very happy. Beautiful place. He said it's better than Times Square. I don't I know about is. that. There's not a, too many people here. You can actually appreciate the scenery. Whereas right? in Times Square, you're constantly moving and having to look at everything real quick. But here, you can just sit down on the bench that's right here. You can take your time, hang out with the pigeons and the seagulls. And look at all the beautiful architecture that's around us. There's like, not in, the, not in the picture, but there's like two cathedrals I'm looking at on both sides of us. All these skyscrapers, it's beautiful. Can't complain. I love it, guys. This is only the first little bit of our trip, man. We're here for two days, so stay tuned. So we made it to the hotel. Uh, we're gonna take some shots of it when we get inside. It's pretty cool. I just got it checked in. He hasn't seen it yet. It's pretty cool. Stay tuned. Thank you so much. You too. Look, please look at Bobby a lot. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, guys, we're at our hotel right here. Bathroom, bathroom. Check out the mirror. Yes, sir. Got a little closet action. Welcome, Cortez. Got two made beds. This beautiful view. Let's check it out. Oh my goodness. And there's the stadium. That's where we're gonna be this evening, boys. All right, we're gonna settle in, get things situated. That's about it. It reminds me of, um, that's my gate. Guys, we're heading to the Prince's Gate to get some pictures, get some videos. You know, trying to see all the tourist things here in Toronto. Take advantage of while we are here. Chris, what are your thoughts? Uh, it's pretty cool. I'm still just trying to process that I actually just drove and dro drove around Canada, drove around Toronto. It doesn't feel real to me. I think what's crazy too is like it's shorter to get to a different country than it is for us to drive from New York City like we did two two winters ago. Not even just a different country, it's shorter to drive here, like to this particular city than it was. The largest city in Canada. Yeah. So Alright guys. I guess stay tuned as we've said a million times this episode, but things are still things are coming together. Things are going great. <laughs> So we just saw the Princess Gate right behind us, of course. And now we're gonna head to jump into Lake Ontario. Ontario, Ontario, Ontario. Uh, All right, guys. Chris just fully plunged in Lake Ontario. But I'm about to one up my man right here. I'm a grown man. He's a grown man. I'm afraid of nothing. You're going to be afraid when you roll your ankle on one of these boulders. I'd have to agree. <laughs> but see, 
He's afraid of nothing. He's afraid of nothing but bodies of water. See what I'm doing? I'm one up at Chris. He fully plunged into swim trunks. I'm putting one arm in. Oh! He's going in here. Oh! 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 All right, guys, we just finished recording the podcast. Went super well. Dropping Saturday. I mean, this, I'm not sure this video is dropping probably way later after this podcast. But the podcast, episode 15, just got recorded, just got posted. So hopefully, check it out. Go back and check it out. If you haven't, we'll be super upset. But Chris and I are heading to the stadium to go get ready for the Toronto game. Kickoff is in about an hour, and we're pumped. Chris, what are your thoughts? Can't wait. It's going it, to, this stadium, it's. It's like, it's like a massive tease being able to see it from up here, man. It's just like the Jets game. I'm, I'm just, I'm really hyped. The only thing that's keeping me from getting there is this glass pane window. I'm just, I'm ready to get there, man. Well, I really and, am. and 18 stories. All right, guys, we're done with the Toronto Argonauts game. Unfortunately, lost. Uh, this will be coming out after the Argos game, so whatever. So you know, uh, go watch it if you haven't already. But yeah, guys, unfortunate. We're heading back to the hotel. Couldn't get ready for bed. It was a Enjoy good time, night. though. It was a great time. Uh, but yeah, I guess we'll catch y'all in the morning. Boys, we in a cloud, bro. We in a cloud. Look at that. Look at that. We in a cloud, bro. Good morning, guys. So, Chris is currently getting ready. Uh, my stall on the floor. I'm packing up right now. We're going to head to the mall to look for Toronto merch and get a bite to eat. And then we're going to get ready to go to the Blue Jays game. And go check that out if you haven't already. Link up here. We're heading out, boys. I really need to invest in a duffel bag. Haven't done that yet, though. Sir, we're heading out. Thank you, Hotel X, for hosting the BTM podcast. Had a great experience. Time into the small, baby. Chris, any thoughts? Uh, can't wait for the mall. Can't wait for the game. Overall, it's been a good trip. Can't complain. Heck yeah, brother. What do you think of the city so far, Caleb? I mean, it's great. It was great. And a pony. Shout the bus, bro. It's so bad. Oh, yeah. Uh, very beautiful. Chris said it's basically like the Fifth Avenue of New York, but Toronto version. Really cool. Beautiful city. People are so kind here. I'm having a great time. I agree. I'm sad that we got to go after the game, but we we'll have to come back to Toronto. Stay tuned. Guys. We just got out of the Toronto Blue Jays game. We are officially going to be heading home, but we have one stop. So don't click out of this video yet. Not yet. Don't click out. On our way back. So enjoy this little bit of travel bit, and then we'll give you a little surprise here in a minute. Big boys. More travel. New York City. No reach, Kenny. No reach at all. This is a great card. What? Beautiful. Beautiful. Guys, we we're in Windsor, Canada, and we're trying Canadian Big Macs. Chris got two Big Macs. I got one. Let's try them out. See if there's any difference. We'll let you know. Oh, yeah. Chicken McNuggets. More like Poulet McCroquettes. Ugh. All right, guys. I had the Big Mac. Tried it. Chris, give me your thoughts on the Big Mac, dog. It was a Big Mac. No, nothing really did too different from one in the States. So that's really all I got. Tastes I, like a Big Mac. I know it's a difference. The burger patty itself was different. Mm -hmm. Different texture, a different taste, and my bun was stale. So it felt like more of a grill taste to the burger what? and more of a grill taste than what I'm used to. And I had McDonald's every day after during my lunch break at work. So I know a good Big Mac. I know what Big Macs taste like. So yeah, K Big Macs, six out of 10. I'm gonna give mine um, five five. It's a Big Mac. It'll hold you over, and they're kind of good. 
Also, I think they gave me Arizona sweet tea instead of a sweet tea from McDonald's. But this is not, I asked for sweet tea and this is not sweet tea from McDonald's. Get words of sweet tea. I don't know. I'm disappointed. All right, guys, we got back from Toronto. We're going to close out here. It's been a long trip, even though it's only been two days for us. But it was so much, so much, so many events happened. A lot of great things. Chris, close us out, man. For everyone watching this, we appreciate you watching. Have a good morning, afternoon, noon, and night. God bless you guys. Stay smart. Stay safe. Take care. You guys made it this far. I really appreciate it. We'll catch y'all, boys, in the next one. Peace.